certified Atlanta's most accurate forecast. We're tracking quite a few thunderstorms, non-severe but still packing quite a punch in the metro Atlanta area. Right now we have two storms just uh, about on each side of downtown Atlanta. So you can see the dark skies over here. You can see the dark skies on this side and downtown Atlanta is clear right now. And I'll show you what that looks like on radar because it is pretty impressive right now where we've got nothing in downtown. But if you look towards I-20 on the west side, stretching up into West Midtown, and then of course over into Decatur, all the way up into 85. That's where we have two pretty powerful thunderstorms with some very heavy rain, lightning and gusty winds on the order of about 35 to even 40 miles per hour. Another thunderstorm, an additional one over Social Circle. All of this is pushing to the northeast at about 20 25 miles per hour, but there's not a whole lot of pattern to where this is moving, where it's popping up. This is this typical summertime activity that we see this time of year. One small downpour right over the Norcross area, and this is going to follow 85 to the north, just to the north of Lawrenceville. Also seeing some very heavy rain thunderstorms, a lot of lightning just to the north of Dahlonega, and this is the general pattern that we're going to deal with for the rest to the afternoon into the evening, but we do have quite a bit of rain. Almost a whole wall of water is what it looks like on CBS 46 pinpoint radar that will move into the Atlanta area around six to seven o'clock in the evening. So a couple of hours away. Lightning is our primary concern for this evening. Also the wind in the strongest storms. We have the potential for some very small hail, but that will be within the strongest thunderstorms, the ones that do become severe. So let's time this out for you. This is the wall of water that we were just watching on our CBS 46 pen point radar. It'll break up a little bit as it tries to move into the metro area. This is around six o'clock. It's around Carrollton. By the time we get to seven o'clock, it's moving on the north side and the northern suburbs. That's going to continue to push out of our area by around nine o'clock in the evening, although we will see some showers through the overnight hours. And when you wake up and walk out the door tomorrow morning, make sure you have the rain gear because it's going to rain on and off throughout the day, pretty much all throughout the day tomorrow. 69 degrees through the overnight hours, about a 40% chance to see a few of those showers after 9 p.m. That will continue overnight, and this is what I was warning you about. It's pretty much going to rain at some point throughout the day tomorrow, whether it be in the morning time for you or throughout the evening. So a chance of thunderstorms as well throughout the day. So just keep a close eye on the weather, although because we are going to see rain and clouds throughout the day, our temperatures will stay a little bit lower. Today we made it up into the upper 80s again. Tomorrow we will struggle to make it into the 80s. 82 degrees in Atlanta. Some areas will not make it into the 80s. 79 in Griffin, 79 in Carrollton, and only 79 for you in Ella J. That cool down, it will not last for long, but a couple of days we're going to spend in the lower 80s with the highest rain chances both tomorrow into Wednesday with a cold front passing through. Once that front passes, through. We're going to see a slightly lower chance for rain and our temperatures will go back up as we head towards the weekend. In fact, Saturday, look at that. Another 90 degree day in Atlanta. Feels like June again. Molly, thank you. Still ahead, the gift of 